Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video on Langophilia. This time I would like to talk to you about the Albanian language and the Albanian dialects in English. Usually I have made these videos on Albanian in German so far, but now I have decided to also make them in English because I have gotten some messages from people all over the world. A guy from Iraq messaged me that he is learning Albanian, so I decided to also make these videos now on Albanian in the English language. And that's why you see the uh, number 001 in front, because I will make a lot of videos in the future on Albanian so that you can learn Albanian in English. So this is the start of a new video series. I will collect these videos in a playlist that is called Learn Albanian. You will find this on my YouTube channel. So if you want to, yeah, learn Albanian and if you speak or understand English, so please uh, subscribe to my channel, like the video, maybe write a comment. I would be very interested to know um, where are you from and why are you learning Albanian and yeah, because most of my followers and subscribers are from Germany, I suppose, maybe from Switzerland and from Austria. So they are German speaking and that's why I have made these videos in German so far. But yeah, I, th I, th I thought I could reach more people if I also make these videos in English. So that's um, why I'm making these videos in English now. So let's start with the topic of this video. What is Albanian? Albanian is an Indo-European language. What is Indo-European? Indo-European is a language family. So the Indo-European language family contains languages that are stretching from Europe to India. So that's why the name is Indo-European. India and Europe. So these are the extremes, the um, points from which the languages are spoken. Not all languages of India are Indo-European, obviously, but there are some and also, for example, Persian, Kurdish, Albanian, Greek, Russian, English, Spanish, Portuguese, German. These languages are all Indo-European, so they are in some way related to each other. However, Albanian is special because it doesn't have any closely related sister languages. For example, Spanish, Portuguese, Italian are Romance languages and they are closely related. German and English and Dutch, for example, are Germanic languages and they are also closely related. But Albanian doesn't have any sister language, so it is a single branch. It is, it stands alone. Albanian is mostly spoken in Albania, in Southeast Europe, on the Balkans, but also in Kosovo, in North Macedonia, in some cities and parts of South Montenegro, in some cities and parts of South Serbia, but also in some regions in Greece and in Southern Italy. Also, it is spoken by the diaspora, so there are many Albanians in Turkey, for example, in other countries in Europe, like in Italy, of course, um, in, in Germany, in Switzerland, in Austria, in France, in the uh, United Kingdom, in England, there are many also in Sweden, etc. Also in the US, so worldwide there are many Albanians in the diaspora and yeah, so they're probably, I don't know, I know there are roughly seven to eight million speakers of Albanian, um, at least native speakers in uh, Albania, Kosovo, North Macedonia, etc. But I'm pretty sure that there are up to 10 million people speaking Albanian all over the world, roughly. There are no exact figures, there are no data, but this would be my yeah, assumption. So now we know that Albanian is an Indo-European language. It is spoken in Southeastern Europe, in Albania, Kosovo, etc. And yeah, you would probably assume that there are also dialects, like yeah, any language has dialects. German has dialects, English has dialects, many dialects, and Albanian also. I have found this graphic that I would like to show you. I will make it appear on the screen somewhere and you will find the link to the graphic in the video description box down below. And there you can see all the um, major dialects of Albanian. So we can split up Albanian in two major dialects, Gig and Tosk. Gig is the northern dialect. It is spoken in North Albania, in Kosovo, in North Macedonia, for example. And Tosk is the southern dialect. It is mainly spoken in South Albania and the Arvanitica in um, Greece also speak a Tosk dialect and the Abaresh 
in South Italy also speak a Tosk variety. Also, we can split up these dialects, Tosk and Gig, in many sub-dialects. So, for example, in Kosovo, the dialect that is spoken there, it is, it, it is called Northeastern Gig, Northeast Gig, while the dialect spoken in North Macedonia is called Central Gig, while the dialect spoken around North West Albania and South Montenegro is called Northwest Gig obviously. And the same with Tosk. Tosk can also be split up in many sub-dialects. You will probably see it on the map. So yeah, what I am focusing on on my channel is North East Gig from Kosovo because my, well, I have roots from Kosovo. So that is what I can talk about the best. I know a lot of, uh, a lot about um, Albanian as spoken in Kosovo. So North East Gig. But I don't know so much about, let's say, Albanian from Greece, from the Arvanitica or from the Arbaresh. I cannot, I cannot really talk about these dialects. Nevertheless, I will also mention Standard Albanian from time to time because I have also studied some Standard Albanian and it is used in the media, in the newspapers, by, politi politi by the uh, politicians, etc. So I will also talk about Standard Albanian a bit from time to time. But it is not my focus, because it is not spoken by the people in Kosovo from, um, yeah, among each other. So they speak their dialects. Also, you should know that Standard Albanian is mostly based on Tosk. So Gig Albanian is not really contained in Standard Albanian. And that is why some speakers of Gig Albanian, especially in Kosovo, regard their native dialect as peasant speech they say that they would be it would sound dumb that it doesn't sound educated etc while they refer to standard albanian as well a clean language a good language but this is obviously not right so each dialect is correct and good there is no bad language or bad dialect because each speech speech group each groups of speaker each group of speaker develops a dialect and uses it in their daily life. And of course there are differences, but that's normal. It would be quite boring if we all spoke in the same way, in the same pronunciation. That would be so boring. So yeah, that's what I would like to mention as well. So each dialect is good and interesting. And now I'm focusing on Northeast Gig from Kosovo. I will talk more in depth about Northeast Gig from Kosovo in the future. So if you would like to see more videos on the alphabet, for example, on the yeah, pronunciation, on the pronouns, on the verbs, etc., on forming sentences, etc., I will yeah, probably upload many videos on these topics in the future. So make sure you're subscribed to my channel, like the video and maybe write a comment while you're learning Albanian, where you're from etc. I would really be interested and I would be glad to yeah read your comments and yeah thanks in advance thank you very much I appreciate you all and see you next time on Lango Filia